بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين الى يوم الدين in a world where everyone is overexposed the smartest thing you can do is maintain your mastery that's the smartest thing so privacy is very important for our preservation in deen and dunya somebody said i value things i'm deprived of privacy for example i'm deprived of privacy somebody else said i don't like to share my personal life it wouldn't be personal anymore if i shared it it wouldn't be personal anymore so in this era where everybody wants to post and boast and may end up in a roast so we should be very cautious especially in this era where information is easily accessible likewise in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains about this privacy daraballahu mathalan lil ladhina kafaru ra'ata nuh wa ra'ata lut allah explains the example of the wife of nuh alayhi salatu was salam fa khanatahuma they breached so alam tabri has mentioned that the wife of nu alayhi salam she would expose his secrets so allah speaks about the wife of nu and the wife of lut likewise she also would expose secrets so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala call this khiana this is breach of trust as a poet says was sir faktumhu wala tantiq bihi fa huwa al asir ladayka id la yanshab that the secret that you have keep it secret and do not speak about it because it is like a captive in your control as long as he does, doesn't escape there is goodness but the day he escapes is the time that you are at risk and possible jeopardy so that's very important and then he says this secret make sure you keep it why nasharathu alsinatun tazidu wa takdhibu because once it comes under the tongues it will spread like wildfire not only that there'll be a lot of mirch and masala and savories and flavorings and eventually it will become lies and it will be to your dread detriment the wife of Aisha radiyallahu anha Fatima once came to visit and uh, Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam welcomed her seated her and he told her something secretly fa bakat fa qultu laha lima tabkina then again nabi alayhi salam spoke to her and then she smiled so i said fa qultu ma raaituka alyawmi farhan aqrab min huzni i haven't seen happiness today and sadness so i asked her what had happened so she said ma kuntu li afshiya sirra rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wasallam i cannot expose the secret which nabi alayhi salam has entrusted me with Then when Nabi Ali Salam passed away, so that secret was while he was alive. Now there wasn't the need for secrecy. So I asked again, what was the the discourse between you and the Nabi of Allah? So he said, uh, secretly the Jibril came, and uh, normally it was once a year where revision of Quran would take place. This year it was twice. So I don't think so. I will see the next year. The time for my life has. come to end so i cried and you will be the first person wa innaki awwalu ahli bayti you will be the first person to meet me from my family means you will depart from this world first so i cried then he told me that don't you be happy won't you be pleased an takuni sayyidat nisa'i ahli aljanna 
don't you won't you be happy to be the the, the queen the leader of the women of jannah so fadhahiktu lidhalika i was very elated and happy so the processes we've been going through as well is more on the mobile phone where the cell phone will sell your soul and sell all your information until there's nothing left to be sold so although it may seem like technical jargon but it's good that we understand it we start the processes because when the time comes you will really we will appreciate it so we need to prepare properly we need to 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 make sure we give it all we got to to secure ourselves our family the ummah sometimes a person does a lot but it's consequential and not beneficial because they end up making the wrong effort so they doing the right things but not the right effort not the right target not the right destination so they are doing a lot but the benefits are little bit like a a a bus driver who was very small weak and a giant man climbed on board and with a rough voice he said big john doesn't pay and he went to go sit to the seat so obviously he was small he didn't want to argue so the next day the same thing happened and he went to his seat so this went for a few days and uh, the driver was becoming perturbed with regards to the situation everybody was paying everybody did what they need to do so the driver said i'm going to teach this big john a lesson so he went to the gym he started an intensive course of body building and eventually he had his rippling muscles from skin and bone to to six packs and uh, now he was ready and as usual big john entered the bus and he said big john doesn't pay this time he said i'm not going to take a line down so he stood up and he said oh yeah and why doesn't big john pay so big john reached into his inside pocket so as he was moving his hand he thought okay what's he going to pull out is a firearm is a weapon he's going to take me out and all he did was he pulled out the bus pass and said because big john has a big uh, as a bus pass he had a bus pass all the time but the bus driver interpreted wrong he made effort and he got nothing out of it so so these these methodologies are in front of us it, it may take a t- person many 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 years sometimes many many months many many systems many people to go through to get solutions so we need to find the easiest solutions and the quickest and the softest so as discussed with regards to a firstly a ghost phone with a operating system you'll go graphene os and uh combining the lin phone for voip telephone service so likewise you you can use twilio as well and uh the idea is that uh for a person to be discreet in what they doing as well so sometimes these 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 uh, apps have restrictions for local etc so you could bypass it you could go to the programs and 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 open up the geo permissions where you could make international calls and and, and fulfill the requirements so the main thing is that uh, in this process a person has uh, ability to to have uh numbers vib numbers with an un google operating system like we said graphene os and thus granular control of these numbers is 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 independent of google services so you you have a literally private vib system as well and this eliminates the middleman so there are other services which is out there like uh, fire rtc pop talks club phone burner and hushed which uh, are premium mobile apps but this is like getting a third party to facilitate and that can be intercepted illa mashallah allah knows best but obviously asbab wise uh, it's important to create your own solutions and and eliminate the middlemen similarly there's another thing which 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 people are into is is encrypted phone so you pay premium for privacy 
but a person needs to 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 consider it seriously. Do they need to spend so much money, and how secure it is? Like uh, the 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 hotel chains which the CIA were behind, where they they bug those hotels. Like as many of these intelligence agency create mili- military grade equipment, but the people that adopt it don't realize that it's funded by these agencies because the people who can really afford this need to be monitored. So whoever wants to go secret, so it's a, a system to streamline people. It's a trap. So uh, one of those phones is the Batium mobile. So it comes with two operating systems, the Android and, and, and a secure OS as well. And uh, because of these different operating systems and uh, a person has uh, a better management system, the VPN as well, and then the, the rating, which is quite robust. And a person needs, in, in, in these phones, they have features where you can disable the Bluetooth, the camera, the microphone, or your limited uh, functionalities. That's a, a simple a costly exercise, $1,800. But if we had to go to Soleran, which supposedly offers the most advanced privacy technology outside the agency. So this is a startup and um, it has 256 AES encryption. It has uh, security, defense forces, secure comms. It has um, advanced chips, but it comes with a, a, a exorbitant price tag of thirteen to $14,000. Is it really secure or not? That's a question mark. Likewise, we've got Silent Circle. We've got other uh, smartphones, apps, which a person should use. So if we're going to opt for any of this, then we need to do proper research. Likewise, any 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 device, whether it's Apple devices, Apple ID, which is connected to the Apple Store, the Android is connected to the ID, which is connected to the store. So these are all digital trails to identify you. So when you go to the VoIP system, um, you you become more secure as well as invisible. So we've said uh, the option was Twilio. I, uh, which a person could consider. There's other ones as well, like Telnix. Telnix is as also, um, it's fast, it, it can be integrated, it has a video wireless messaging capabilities, um, and uh, it, it does the job. Likewise, the MySudo VoIP configuration as well. So this is also a all-in-one privacy app. You can secure your phone numbers, it's uh, emails, browsers, Encrypted voice, video, group calls, SMS, encrypted messages, private browsing, digital profiles. You can create different pseudos, for example, socializing, shopping, online. So privacy. So it will handle whether everything needs to be encrypted, um, your phone numbers, your comms. And uh, you can search the internet as well with a secure browser. No information is needed, email, phone number to create an account, no registration, end-to-end encryption. It's decent, it's built in, it's decentralized uh, identity technology. So uh, a person can opt for my pseudo for, for, for communication as well. And you can create different profiles as well as, as it suits the need with uh, multiple phone numbers. So uh, this this unique ID, this, this 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 trail is something which is secure. Now a person has moved on to the system as well, then uh, they have to decide if they want to port their numbers as well. So the old numbers that you have, maybe it's connected to certain things if you want to keep it, etc. So one option is to create a Google Voice account and keeping the, the conditions in mind like we've, we've outlined previously. a a person can connect to that and um, make sure that uh, they don't lose their own number. But what's very important is these uh, big tech companies are there for a purpose. So whether it's uh, even the the voice activated Amazon Amazon Echo, Google Home device, which is supposedly very convenient. And uh, remember, they always listen. It's a spy module. So whether it has the voice recognition, whether it has cameras, you're spending a little bit money, but it's got tracking of everything that you're doing and it reports, it goes back. 
So this uh, AI voice assistance, Alexa, which is Amazon, Cortana, which is Microsoft, Siri, Apple, and Home Google, these big techs are, are drawing all the data, and, and it, it seems like you're getting more smart, but we're getting more dumb. So, uh, and it's it's moving across gadgets, so from from refrigerators to to washing machines to stoves. All everything is becoming smart, and 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 you are the target. It's it's not smart to to make your life easier, but it's smart so that they are smart enough to extract your information. They they have algorithms to draw all this information, and uh, these AI systems are saving all your data indefinitely without your permission. So according to Bloomberg, there's probably no limits or restriction on data collection. So whether it's Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, there's, there's no governing bodies, Congress, laws to regulate it. So these, these smart systems, well, it's smart meters that have been forced on, on in the US um, or optional voice assistants in your homes, another big tech, big brother system. So uh, the, the CEO of Smart Home Systems Control 4 uh, as said, and we think if the world really knew what was going on, it could create real commotion. If you really knew how they harnessing your data and using it for, 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 for their own purposes, there would be commotion. So, and then it, it, it limits your activities because you're restricted to an internet, you're restricted to an app, you're restricted to a smartphone. What about the good old days of just having a key and opening your door? No, there's no power. You can't get into your house. You're locked in, you're locked out. There's a fire. You cannot escape. Like uh, cryptocurrency and gold. What if all power goes on earth? What happens to your crypto? You got no access to it. What about gold? So we need to go back to the asal. Like Molana Yusmila used to say, you think so the more you go into the future, you're progressing. I'm telling you, the more you go to the past, you're progressing. 1400 years ago, closer Aqrab to the Sunnah of Janabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ashabi Kan Nujum and the life of Sahaba then we are progressing so stick to those things which, which are which are old tech so taking information and, and, and Google, Facebook, Twitter, Apple uh, they, 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 they control you now so if you look at it the amount of personal information, location, data. There's a new thing which Google has started gathering is a unique photo pixel fingerprints. So that's part of it. There's other types of intelligence which you're not going to get into now. But uh, what they do is each image has a, a signature, a, a code in, which is a, the fingerprint. And... Um, foreign government agencies, law enforcement agencies are really circumventing people's privacy. So if we go in the US Constitution, the Fourth Amendment doesn't exist anymore. So if you look at EPIC, Electronic Privacy Information Center, they are saying that uh, even Google's helping the US intelligence agencies to conduct uh, what is called warrantless searches. So let's say if somebody wants to come to your home, they would need a search warrant, which is approved and signed off by a judge, a court. Now they don't need to do that anymore. When it comes to this digital world, all they do is they have access to your digital files and they can get all the information. So Google has stockpiled all this information and they browse through all this information. So. Google scans through all, let's say you have something in your hard drive, Google will scan through the user images, which is in the cloud. Then they will use facial recognition technology with the algorithm to create this uh, unique uh, identifiable uh, fingerprint. And that's how you can track people. So let's say they got an image of somebody, they've already, let's say there's 100 million people They've already got all their images, their family, their letters of their friends, wherever they were traveling on the road, they took an image. Then each image is, uh, is, has been identified and created a fingerprint. 
and that pulls it out. So this person here from the 100 million, his phone's got this image. Then they will go through all the data. Then they will do sub-analysis. We will identify more information. And you could be tracked and your details uh, uh, exposed. So Google is already working on, 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 on a search engine project in China. And they're busy helping the Chinese government to censor out what they say in sensitive material. But obviously it's 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 biased. It's called Project Dragonfly. So any images, any content, any language, which they don't want, they can block it as well. That's why a lot of people when they do YouTube and uploads, they don't use certain words because it'll get blocked. So um, there is a no real algorithmic transparency from these big tech companies. So we have to be very careful and take precaution. The amal for today was utilizing the miswak. So we see that Nabi Ali Salat was salam not only used the miswak, but there were different places where the miswak was also utilized. Among those places where the miswak should be used is Ida Dakhala Baidahu Bada'abis Siwak. When Nabi Ali Salam entered the house, he would use the miswak. So entering the home, leaving the home as well. We need to use the miswak. May Allah give us one of give us tawfiq, guide us and protect one in all. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillah, ya rabbil alameen.